With all the development that continues to take place along Toronto's waterfront, more and more questions continue to be asked about how much access there actually is to the water and how much more public space can be available. We made the waterfront a beautiful place to live, work and visit, and that work is continuing. The rising population of this area reflects that. The $20 million transformation from a large surface parking lot along Queens Quay at Reese Street to a raised park south of the Rogers Centre and the Gardner is just one promise the city is making to enhance life by the lake. That money is just a small portion of the more than $160 million in this year's city budget for projects that are underway, near completion or planned over the next five years. The cumulative impact of all of this work will continue to transform Toronto's waterfront into a desirable place to live, to work and to visit. And we are getting this work done. Yes, with the support of Toronto taxpayers and the assistance of the other levels of government and by making sure we are being fiscally prudent, making these choices as we move year by year. The area that was once a circular off ramp from the Gardner is now under construction and will soon become Love Park at a cost of $15 million. The space near the silos and Billy Bishop Airport will become the new Bathurst Key Waterfront Park to be completed next year. And $44 million will be spent on two new recreation centres over the next three years. There are huge opportunities here. The benefit of having three levels of government is that we're coordinating the activity and trying to develop the entire waterfront and quite frankly align the interests of the community. The work being done by Waterfront Toronto also includes the Quayside area further to the east, where more residential buildings will soon be constructed, along with Leslie Lookout Park and the much larger project reshaping the Portlands into an area featuring multiple water features and natural spaces. The waterfront as well as downtown's residential population will continue to grow, projected to almost double in the next 20 years. We need to be investing in this area now in order to support that growth, and we're here today to highlight some of those investments. Part of the plan includes the purchase of a couple of brand new ferries to head over to the Toronto Islands, as well as some electrical infrastructure work on this part of the waterfront as well. However, no mention of the brand new Jack Layton Ferry Terminal that was supposed to start construction before now. Mark McAllister, City News.